about 4 or 5 here on the middle lane. But Afro Ninja, he has 1 XP rune advantage. So if he's gonna go bottle, he's definitely going to get there really early. And he gets assault delivered immediately. Impious. Lash Rack against OD. That's a lane I have not seen in at least two years of Pro Dota. So let's see where it goes. And all right, that's niche down. And you had better get used to it. Not away even more. Healing word comes down, but a slight miss macro. That annoying pathing in the trees there. And pretty sure Molotov would kill to die right now. But there's no time for a Molotov since Roger comes in. Come on, Napalm onto Molotov. That would be a kill, man. Alright, never mind. But we get to see Molotov on three now. Nix Assassin taking down. He will go down. RZ still closed in by the fissure there. Now he will be able to get away since he has loud now. So it isn't bothering people. It's always a bit of an issue to get the music right, so. Just correct me if I need to correct if I need to correct it anymore. All right, that's a juggernaut old from Sedoi there on the bad right here. He saw his chance, no creeps nearby. He took the piss and up against this lash rack. I can't wait for this game to hit late game. Go wild. Effect Gaming so far did a great job in cutting their losses, making sure they don't lose too much momentum during the laning stage. Right now, Juggernaut is almost on par in terms of last hits with the OD. He's now teleporting over. We're going to see a team initiation. Team effort made here on the Luna. And this Luna is dead. Shadow Grave is just gonna draw some time. The TP will not be in time. That's one dead Luna. Death Star doing his best with his stun there. But we're going to see a counter initiation onto the next assassin with the lasso. And OD getting the ore pits in there. Roger hitting the floor. OD still plenty of mana left. Also, we got another initiation. No chance that our Warner is gonna get back. Those four people are going to put the aggression on. Secure another kill for Team IKEA here. Blessings upon a loyal Alright, on the bottom lane we're going to see Dancing Dragon get killed off here by the three man by the three man stun combo. We're gonna read out the Shrek talent tree here while we got a bit of a downtime. And so much for downtime. Roger decides to go in with the Mandela. Bad Rider now dragging out the Juggernaut and with his slams the die goes down. Same for the Shadow Demon, he dies to the Luna ultimate there. And both are, Ze are Zeke and a whole lot less but... They have this beautiful synergy. Middle tower is under attack. I mean, I'm not gonna say that Effect don't have any beautiful synergy like that. I'm just saying that they that most of their players have already been playing in the Dota Tier 1 scene. Whereas IKEA squad is kinda up and coming here. Also, we're going to see Earthshaker isolated and beaten down by two people. The Shrek just got stand there, let his explosions do the work. In case of another heal, you know, one old tick can't harm. Make it more hectic, make it more frantic. Catapult MVP here, getting the tower before it can be denied. Dancing Dragon will go down for it, but it's just a Dazzle. Not really that high of priority, especially considering Dazzle is already sitting at, sitting at lowest net worth. He's worth like 200 gold. Meanwhile, Flans on the middle lane grabs his top. Ikea, know what's up, they take the chance for a beautiful smoke egg, and Nix Assassin coming to the high ground. Spike Carpus followed by, oh my god, this Spike Carpus is actually so good, but now comes five, and he dishes out a ton of damage. Luna ultimate only on Sand Tower, but if they get it here with the Echo Slam, they will get it, so I guess it's still worth it, as long as they manage to cut their own losses right now, and we're going to see Luna Ganon taken away with the Astro Imprisonment. Luna might be able to get away, but Beautiful and Pale coming out. However, now they're turning with the Fissure and Five dealing a shit ton of damage, taking more intelligence. Astro Imprisonment on the Shadow Demon, but he's chasing for Roger. No, never mind. He's going on Sedoi. Sedoi taking low he help here with the Dazzle Ultimate. That's one dead Sedoi. Roger still doing his best to get away, but he's dead. He faces it. Doing his best to just annoy the 
just annoy everyone on Ikea, make sure that no towers will be taken. And with that, that's a triple kill for Flens, and Ikea are going to pull ahead. Alright, we're going to sneak success and go on to 5 on his OD here, and there we go, beautiful Echo Slam onto 3. However, Juggernaut Kitty committed. OD ultimate kind of being mitigated here, and that means 5 is going down. In fact, get the initiation they needed. So far, two heroes taken down. Now Luna, rest in potatoes, Flensmeister. Hitting the floor as well. Bad Ride is still alive, but in a lot of trouble. Just look at the damage takes on him. And there's not really anything that Steph Style can do to, or Dancing Dragons, I mean. Both of them are really aggressive. Sorry for the confusion there, but there's not really anything either of them can do to protect their teammates here. And with that effect, pull themselves back into the game. One more fight like this and we... And that's all that matters. He's now going for an Eules as well to set up the stuns. And I don't know, I personally hold a grudge against the, against the item Eules Scepter because a well-coordinated team can turn against you so well and talk about turning against you. That's exactly what Lashrak is gonna do with those charges. They shrine up and they go back in for another aggressive play and they get a kill with it on 5. They decide to stick around which is kind of a ballsy play, but right now... Structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is fallen. All right, we're going to see OD engage. Shadow Demon hitting the floor. Neek Assassin going down as well. Ikea making sure this bottom tier 2 push gets punished. And we're going to see Sadoi. In desperation, turn around, try to kill Earthshaker. Earthshaker barely survives, and with that, Sadoi is going down. If he had the. I mean, he was dead, he knew it, so he tried to get a kill out of it. Did not succeed, and while we have some downtime after the team fight, I'm gonna show the fight recap. Keep my camera locked on. Uh. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh my god, Roger, trying to walk in and run straight to a 5 second smoke gang. As team, they don't want to let him go down here. They decide to go with the Centaur ultimate, into Sedoi's Jugger ulti, on the Luna. Luna decided to proc her own ultimate, thinking that thinking that the damage would not be enough, but with Afro Ninja putting everybody down on health. Oh my god, now Dazzle hitting the floor. Oh, the humanity. This is the Hintenberg all over again for Team Ikea right now. The only one still alive is OD, who's gonna TP out, but this means the last team of the game, but because IKEA are so low on net worth, they're pretty much getting punished right here, so the Radiance miss chance alone would make it worth it, you know. If Luna missed, uh, if Luna misses an attack, it would be pretty devastating. OD's orb with one push, you know, just annihilate this general area. With single push. Even though that's Luna's specialty to like deal AOE base. Oh my god, we got an initiation on the OD made here by the Neek Success. Neek Success still alive, beautiful save there from Azik. Dancing Dragon will not get saved. And that means Dazzle is down. Afro Ninja even more fat, and that's an own is coming out for effect gaming here. Neek's getting an impale, and the mana burn on the OD is so huge. Afro Ninja in a bit of trouble, but he's still staying alive. Beautiful Eules there, and the four step, and he's out. Oh my god. And now from the backline, he's still harassing in. OD gets killed off by the Juggernaut, meanwhile, with, with Roger backing him up. And he stands up the Luna. Luna trying to go in for an ultimate, but the ultimate will not get enough hits down. And with that, Luna goes down. And that's why Luna is usually built really tanky. This Luna as well, actually, has it got a good deal of health because those ults are way too slow. And if you die during your ult, it costs you so much value. And this is at least two lanes for Axe. At the very least, since this is just ridiculous. 
Effect Gaming, who were behind IKEA, show, have shown their strength at some at some point. I was thinking about GT. I already warned them about not banning out comfort picks, but turns out the turtle wins the race here. All right, Centaur Ultimate committed to get Centaur out. He could turn and kill off Dancing Dragon with a second, but it's too big of a risk to take he, here right now. He will go down either way. So Centaur is dead. So are two lanes of Rax. Still worth it. Effect could with Effect should draw back right now. IKEA are more close in their base than in their base than ever. I got the hiccups, which is truly great to have during a cast. How I freaking love my life. You got like five percent chance. Actually, four point three six percent chance if I'm not wrong. If there's any math geek, correct me on this. For the double proc of the Mjolnir and no Scotty and a Juggernaut Ultimate. If you hit a single target once and with that, we're going to move to the team fight commentary and that is Earthshaker. It's being kept alive by the devil here. A lot of ultimates being committed. Luna ultimates this time around getting the value it needs to. Dancing Dragon, however, going down. Earthshaker and Earthshaker and OD went down. If Flens drops here, it's pretty much GG. So Flens needs to stay alive. He should be able to get out. But, alright, he's now switching in the TP scroll. He's still got the four step effect and he needs to use it right now. He's trying to juke out of vision, but Centaur comes and stomps him, and that's. That's the last fight for IKEA here. And GG is being called. And the best of all of this is this is only game one. We got maybe two more games of this type. IKEA did one hell of a job. Effect Gaming proving why they've made it this far in the cup. And we got a bit of a break here. This time around, I don't have to wait on admins because I've been made an admin for the league, which is truly beautiful. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to open the lobby real quick. And uh, we're going to jump right into game number two.